So how many people want to hear about uh, Web2 companies in the metaverse? Show of hands. Um, so I've been, I've been in this uh, space since 2015 uh, when Joe Lubin introduced me to Ethereum. Um, and so I've been around for a while. Um, and I've been pushing big rocks up the hill at a, a small company called Microsoft uh, for many years. It's now six years on that journey. Uh, I think thanks to the community and the evolution of technology through the chasm that NFTs represent, I think we're at a different place today as, uh, as a metaverse uh, than we were even a year ago. So uh, the, the, what you should know is that the conversations have migrated from what we've all been doing for the last six years, which is protocol, geek discussions, you know, talking in an echo chamber, to outside of that echo chamber, to what can brands benefit from. Uh, Microsoft itself is a brand, obviously, and has many different brands, including Xbox, LinkedIn, and others obviously Web2 brands. Um, so Microsoft, like its journey in the internet, uh, probably started out very similar to our journey in the internet, which is in 1993, Bill Gates is famously quoted as calling the internet a fad. And in 1995, uh, we shipped an operating system called Windows 95, and in that operating system was the Web2 stack. So if you look at what we're doing today in Web2, generally, we've been doing that since 1995 as an entire community, right? So Web3 is obviously the next evolution of that. And I think what you should expect from large companies like Microsoft in the tech space is a recognition now that Web3 is really important and needs to be embraced in a similar way that Windows 95 embraced the internet. So just a piece of history for context, I think it's really, really important. Um, I'm gonna skip quickly through a very, very brief presentation Someone asked me before I came on if I was going to drop any alpha today. I think if you listen very closely, you might hear some alpha, but I'm not dropping any alpha, okay? So just to be clear. So I actually put this presentation together. This is like the 10-minute version of it. I put it together uh, for Proper Daily, which was a, a not-for-profit that focuses on uh, brands and brand enablement. Um, and specifically, it was to explain to their audience what NFTs are and why do they represent interest uh, in the space. So very briefly, I'm uh, not going to go through this in detail. Um, I, I actually teach e-commerce at NYU, so I actually come to NFTs from a lens of many years in e-commerce. Uh, so I find it quite interesting that Toby Ludicky, who's the CEO of Shopify, if you know what Shopify is, it's a Web2 company that creates massive marketplaces. Um, that this is a convergence that's happening. Um, and that wakes up a lot of different companies and a lot of different organizations. So while, like if you looked at all of the uh, sort of messaging around Windows 11, which we just launched, small operating system a lot of people in the world use, um, all the messaging is about embracing the creator. And so this is a kind of a perfect convergence moment um, between NFTs uh, for creators and large Web2 companies like Microsoft uh, enabling creators. So um, this is something that anybody who plays a game will recognize. Um, this could be an NFT. This could be alpha. Who knows, right? Um, the, but if you think about like how large brands show up, they look at the assets that they have. Like Microsoft has a very uh, a large cadre of IP in different parts of our business. We have hardware products, we have software, we have games, uh, we have you know, SaaS-based experiences. So when, when, you, when you think about like the moment, for example, that another large Web2 evil, evil empire company called Facebook rebrands itself to Meta, that's telling you that there's a recognition that this is much more than VR, this is much more than NFTs, this is essentially the future of commerce. So I sort of make that point. I'm not going to go into that in a lot of detail here because I don't have time. Um, this is obviously a Microsoft um, hat in the uh, evoking the CryptoPunks um, 24 by 24 bit uh, design with the Microsoft logo, not dropping any alpha. Um, but I think the other important things for large brands, particularly brands like Microsoft, where sustainability is front and center of everything that we do, being green, is how do we actually ensure that our principles hold when we do things in the NFT space? 
So, you know, clearly uh, large proof of work networks like Ethereum and Bitcoin have gotten a lot of flack about their energy usage, valid or not. Um, uh, so I've actually been doing a lot of calculations on sustainability on behalf of our internal brands. And this is on my Twitter, actually. If you go to my Twitter profile, I think it's the second to top tweet. But we've measured, uh, essentially, we've approximated a year of NFT drops by a brand. Might be 12 million NFTs. So if you do calculations on 12 million NFTs on a proof-of-stake network, it's roughly equivalent to a year of your propane-powered backyard barbecue. So if you guys all want to stop doing barbecue, then we can avoid the problem of NFTs, right? And so these are the types of comparisons that we need to do and the objective calculations that brands need to hear about what is the actual footprint of NFTs versus all of the FUD and, and noise that you hear in market. So just a, a, a data point for you. Um, so, so we are looking at various ways to uh, think about NFTs. By the way, did anyone see the Windows 11 launch? Could I just see a show of hands really quickly? Wow, okay, it's definitely not the Web2 audience. Uh, or either you're not listening to me, one or the other. Because uh, you can join my e-commerce class if you're not listening to me. I, I give you permission. Um, Windows 11, Microsoft's next version of its operating system launched a couple, about a month ago or so. Um, Oddly, without it ever coming across my plate, they actually launched a Windows 11 NFT. Now, frankly, it was extremely lame. I'm not even going to do it justice by putting it on the screen, but the Windows 11 team, as part of a live stream, actually launched a Windows 11 NFT. So if you weren't paying attention, this is already happening, right? Um, this is where brand marketers get ahead of strategy and, and technology, right? And so it's one of my jobs is to try to keep us all in, in sync and, and aligned, and I missed there. Um, and as I said, it was an extremely lame NFT, so don't even go looking for it. But we did launch an NFT, so. Um, that's all I had for you today. I know no major revelations. I would love to take questions. Um, I'll, be, I'll be around, so come look for me. Uh, if anyone's interested in what a Web2 company is doing in the metaverse, uh, I can give you some more details. Thanks, everyone.